Growing up as a skinny kid sucked. Not only did I have a body that I didn't like, but I also didn't have much confidence in myself. All throughout high school, I was one of those lazy, unathletic, and non-passionate kids in my class who also had absolutely no game with girls. I tried to get people to like me by being a class clown, but deep down, I wanted to like myself. It wasn't until I came across a motivational video on YouTube one day that I started to entertain the idea of working out. I was introduced to guys like Arnold Schwarzenegger and C.T. Fletcher. Man, you to grow. You must grow. And for the first time ever, I felt a sense of motivation, and I had never felt that before. So I did some push-ups on the floor in my room, and it felt amazing. It's as satisfying to me as uh, coming is. I'm like uh, getting the feeling of coming in the gym. I'm getting the feeling of coming at home. So I'm coming day and night. I mean, it's terrific, right? This is when I decided to join track and field at my school so that I could start to be an athlete. But I really wasn't much of a contribution to my team. However, because I was determined, I decided to put everything I had into my goal of becoming proud of myself. What started out as barely being able to do a few push-ups on the ground eventually led to me working out with equipment and working out quickly became part of my lifestyle. I continued working out for the next few years, however, there came a point when I realized that I wasn't really getting results. It was about a year ago when I made it my intention to really build some muscle. After talking to a lot of people who were much bigger than me and hiring a personal trainer, I realized that there was a major component that I was missing, which was my diet, but not in the way that I had thought. You see, I always thought of the word diet as not eating donuts, candy, and other junk food. But instead, diet for my situation was actually getting enough food in my body. When I hired this personal trainer named Jay, he told me that I had to eat a lot. Lots of calories, lots of carbs, lots of protein, and lots of vegetables. This was hard at first, for I usually would just forget to eat throughout the day. However, it was time to crack the code with this thing. I was starting at a weight of 172, and I set a goal to hit 195 pounds. This was over 20 pounds that I was looking to gain, so I had to push myself. I bought a mass gainer to help with putting on weight, and what was awesome is just from two shakes a day, I was getting an extra 250 carbs, 50 grams of protein, and 1,200 calories. I also started eating a ton of regular and sweet potatoes, as well as these giant pizzas, both which are rich in carbs. The pizzas had like 1,700 calories, 100 something grams of protein almost, and I think around 200 carbs. You eat one of these a day, you're gonna put on weight for sure. And I would also go to the store and buy ground meat and put on the stovetop and I would throw in tomatoes and spinach and all that stuff for extra nutrients and it was super easy. I would also get double wrapped triple rice burritos from Chipotle every day and I would eat everything I just mentioned almost every single day and work out about five days a week. Lifting heavy for each muscle group and exercise that I could do for about five to 12 reps with. That was for bench, squats, deadlifts, military press, curls, all that. And I would seriously push myself when I was working out. I started to gain muscle and it was awesome. But most importantly, I was putting on weight and size, which really was my actual goal. I was able to get myself up to 197 pounds. I didn't have a six pack or anything, but I did fill out my shirts and it felt awesome. So for anyone who's looking to gain muscle and is struggling to put it on, I'd urge you to not only work out harder and push yourself, of course, but also make sure that you get your diet right. And this means eat, eat a lot. Your focus every single day needs to be getting as much food in you as possible. I totally disregarded this for years and I wasted a lot of time. So if I could go back in time, I would continue working out the way I was, but I would also eat a ton more. I was able to put on 20 pounds in one year and I'm gonna continue this same process for getting in the 200s now. So do this correctly and you'll get some serious gains and finally crack the code for putting on some weight for sure.